Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm Teacher Oakley. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome to Verbling. Today's conversation topic is something which I know nothing about. We're going to talk about fashion. As you can see by looking at my hairstyle, I have no idea what that word means. Help me, help me, help me, students. Uh, I'm in over my head. I'm out of my depth. I'm talking about things I do not know. Uh, I need some student participation and I need it now. I need some help. I'm going to talk to you folks and you're going to talk to me about fashion and it's time for you to to teach me. Uh, welcome everyone and uh, please do jump in the class because we're going to talk about fashion and fashion trends, uh, fashion in history. I'm going to have students are going to have a chance to practice English, maybe uh, do some simple description talking about uh, clothing or hairstyles. Yes, hi everyone out there, Elena, Ernesto, Alessandra. My hairstyle is not okay, Alessandra. It's, it's just not okay. It feels like I'm wearing some kind of an animal on my head. It's, it's unacceptable. <laughs> yes, I try to hide my hair with my headphones. That is correct. Uh, I have to. Actually, I'm, I'm very, I have a very, because I wear headphones at my job all the time, I'm going bald on a stripe from one ear to the other ear. It's very, very strange looking. So even when I go out uh, on the street, I wear headphones all the time. That way, no one has to see my embarrassing hairstyle. <laughs> okay, uh, any case? Come on in and join me in class so you can uh, laugh at me in person. Uh, we're going to... Uh, Elena or other viewers, you do need to have a ticket. Yes, indeed. You can purchase tickets by clicking on the big gold bar. Uh, you can invite a friend and perhaps gain yourself a free ticket. In either case, please do join me because I need all the help that I can get. I am, however, drinking a fashionable energy drink. Oh, hide that label. Energy drink. That's fashionable, isn't it? Trendy to drink energy drinks. Isn't that what people do these days, you young people? It's delicious, and hopefully it will keep me awake for at least the next 57 minutes. Uh, okay, guys, jump in here any time now so we can talk about clothing fashions. It's uh, summer now. Do you guys actually buy new clothes every season? Do you buy clothing? At, why do you buy clothing? I personally wait till somebody gives me clothing or I steal it from my friends but I basically never buy clothing unless I'm somewhere like Disneyland and then I buy a souvenir t-shirt this is my sense of fashion I need help I need a fashion intervention and I need it now please do <laughs> jump in the class and, and help me out here because uh, oh thank heavens a kind soul has joined me uh, and it's Nadia hi Nadia Nadia are you there uh, yes I am <laughs> well thank goodness 
Uh, I'm very happy to see you. Nadia, are you a, a fashion, a fashionista? Uh, there is a delay. Sorry? Do you know that word, fashionista? Yeah. Are you a fashionista? There's a delay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, maybe I'm not sure why. Maybe a connection problem. I see. Uh, I seem to have a good connection. <laughs> okay. Well, somebody named Nadja is in the class. You're here, right? Hello. Ah. Okay. You appear to be in the class, but you're not in the class. All right. Uh, for all you viewers out there, I don't even know if you can see me on camera. There appears to be some kind of technical problem, although I have the Hangout open, and it appears I have students. No one can talk to me. And as Nadia has just po posted... Okay. There seems to be a problem. Are you here now? Uh, yes, I'm here now at last. At last. Okay. There we go. And now my video is working. Okay. Uh, answering, I was able to hear you, but I wasn't able to join you because uh, application hasn't been download downloaded. That's why I, I had to wait. Okay. Uh, so, Nadia, Fashionista. Are you... Yeah. Fashionista. Are you... Is it a person who is obsessed with fashion? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Yes. Exactly correct. Are you uh, interested in fashion? Yes. Uh, oh. Theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. In theory. Okay. Do you, do you often go clothes shopping? Clothes or accessories? No. Twice a year. <laughs> Twice a year. Now, that's interesting. Is this a regular behavior, like for the spring fashions and the no, fall fashions? Um, yeah, when my clothes uh, are older. <laughs> Only really? One reason. Yeah. Your and uh, they are old? don't. Yeah, they don't look. Uh, the clo My clothes don't look um, sort of appropriate to this season or something. What uh, ah. women usually wear at work on okay. the streets or something. I have to keep up with with them. Ah, okay, I see. Because I'm wearing the same clothes I wore ten years ago. I I didn't. I was not a made. No one made me aware that clothes got old. <laughs> it's simpler for men. It's simpler for men. Because well, you don't heaven. look at each other and don't, you don't compare each other. At least you don't uh -huh. compare your clothes. And women, they, you know they, what they are. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. So, uh, so women compare their clothes. How do you do that? Explain to me. As a man. For example, I, I can explain it to you uh, what I do, how I c compare women's clothes with me. Perfect. I, uh, When I see a beautiful girl or a beautiful lady or a beautiful old lady, uh, by beautiful I mean that she looks brilliant and she wears not so fashionable clothes, but the cl she's, wearing the clo uh, cl she's wearing the clothes which extremely suits her style, her looks, and create sort of a special image. And I feel attracted to this person because uh, this person sort of sh is shining. And uh, that's how I compare this person with me because I like this person the way this person looks really much. And I see that this person is happy, sort of healthy. And um, this, uh, like a, this is like a magnet. Ah, okay. So you could say the person stands out in a crowd. Uh, or uh, no, not stand out. Uh, it might be. It 
might be an ordinary woman or an ordinary man, but who looks extremely pleasant to the eye, something like that. It okay. might this these people might wear just sort of regular clothes, but there is a, um, a harmony, a, a, a wonderful combination of style, image, and looks. Wow, I don't know. I don't know how anyone could top that. That makes a lot of sense. So. In other words, you don't have to dress like Lady Gaga to be fashionable. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thank heavens. I was concerned. Okay. Uh, hi, Dennis. How are you? Uh, hello, Ugly. Uh, I'm okay. Thanks. Uh, Dennis, do, do you consider yourself to be in fashion? Do you try to dress in a fashionable way? Uh, I don't know. It depends what you mean by fashion. I don't know because, what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because uh, there is a difference bet between uh, fashion and style. It's ah. not the same. Okay, if, if again, I need help. Please explain. What is the difference you, between fashion and style? Uh, I think fashion is, um, if to speak about high fashion, yeah, it's called so high fashion. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. So there is no high fashion for men; it's just uh, women's stuff. So, uh, and st and style is just. Uh, it's not necessary something in fashion. Uh, it's something which just uh, goes to you, yeah? Is that correct? Well, uh, well I'm, I'm not sure. Um, F uh, feet. Uh, dress uh, goes to your feet, you. Ah, um, okay. Uh, the, the clothes, I, I think there's an expression. Again, I'm really out of my depth here. The clothes fit the man like that. Um, they fit the personality of the wearer. They match the person. Is that what you mean? Uh, like that? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. I, I think I'm starting to actually learn something here. Scary. Uh, okay. Interesting. Dennis, do you like to dress formally or informally? Or sometimes either? Or do you have a preference? In in both in both way it depends on occasion. Yeah, I, I very often uh, wear a suit, for example, and tie. Not for my work, but for I don't know, just for meeting friends or day date to date someone. Okay. All right. Um, cool. Uh, I am total. I I'm allergic to ties, neckties. I, I break out. <laughs> oh, everybody is allergic to ties. Most men. Uh, no, no, it's uh, uh, some men it's like them. Stereotype. It's a stereotype. Yeah. Do you like wearing ties, Dennis? I, I, no, not. I don't like. It's just not so scared, ugly. <laughs> it's so scared. you feel all right. I'm not scared. I yeah. just feel like I can't breathe when I'm wearing a tie. No, no, no. It's not. Okay, well, no, you, you you can breathe. Uh, <laughs> I know, but I feel like I can't. <laughs> I feel like someone's choking me. Uh, I feel that way. I can't help my feelings. In fact, I have a theory about neckties. And here's my theory of how Oakley is going to save the world. I will outline neckties completely. In my opinion, all business leaders oligarchs, politicians, heads of state, they're always wearing a tie and it's cutting off the blood to their brain and thus they can't really think <laughs> logically. <laughs> if, Might if, be true. If, if yeah, that's more, the problem. Yes, if more world leaders would just wear a Disneyland t-shirt, it would be a better world. I'm telling you. That's, that's my theory. Uh, you know, you um, your ideas a bit coincide with the ideas of uh, 
maybe you don't know this name, but in some uh, circles it's widely famous, like Stanislavski, uh, whose theories in educating actors and actresses are sort of world famous. He says that once you adopt an image as style, it uh, immediately starts um, influencing your inner self. Ah, that is an interesting concept. I guess my inner self is a slob. <laughs> 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 I live a messy life. So uh, that makes sense, actually. Uh, come back, whoever just got... How much do you have? Yeah. Okay. How many ties do I have? Um, two, three. three or four. That's about it. I have three or four. A couple of them are kind of cool. I kind of like, actually. They look, they do look nice. Um, hang on, I, hold that thought, if you will, Dennis. We'll talk about uh, particular ensembles which we enjoy, and maybe describe a little bit of clothes. I just want to say hi to Alexis. Hi, Alexis. Hi, Teacher Oki. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm get, getting ready for work. You are? Well, perfect. Yes. What do you wear to work? I have to wear um, um, pretty formal clothes. You do? But I think, I think that's ridiculous because I work in as a um, technical support and we have um, on Friday we, we can wear like very like more uh, informal, mm -hmm. more informal. So on Friday, I feel I feel more comfortable than the other days. And okay. I yep. and, and I think that I work better because I I I am I am more comfortable. Okay, but that's uh, okay. You know that every every. Every job has his uh, roles and stuff. Right. So uh, yes. you work. You, you work tech support. Do you um, have face-to-face -face interaction with customers? Yeah, but only with the like the um, like the customers, but not the externals, the customers from the company. So I, I think. Hmm. It is not necessary because I have to. Um, I, I have to crawl. You know what I mean? You because have to the, crawl. I have to fix like the cables. Putting. Ah, uh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, that's ridiculous <laughs> because I have to. But, but I have. Then I. I don't have to wear a tie, or stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, crawling around on fashion, the floor, attaching cables with a tie yeah. on. That's. Yeah, you're right. That's a, just a little. Okay, silly. but I think I think the I think the um, the fashion is, it's necessary because yeah. we we always want even though if we don't like we we have to wear something and yeah. we <laughs> and everyone okay yeah and everyone uh, has his own style and that's fashion even if. People don't like it, but I think it's very important the fashion. Okay, all right, uh, that's a good answer. Just you, all right, clothing we wear. Look, I'm wearing a dark shirt, which I actually like darker shirts. It's a button shirt, you know, with a pocket. It's you know, um, casual, but isn't it is in Oxford? It's short sleeve because I live in the Philippines and nobody who's not insane wears long sleeve shirts here. Even with a suit, you wear short sleeve shirts underneath the suit jacket. Um, because I have to project uh, somewhat, or I feel, actually Verbling never told me what I could or could not wear, honestly, but I feel that I have to show a little professionalism um, I'm the teacher, so I have to be appropriately dressed. But of course, you only see my shirt. So you don't know that I'm actually not wearing any shoes. <laughs> and that I have, you know, very comfortable shorts on. <laughs> uh, are you wearing shorts? I am wearing shorts, yes, absolutely. Uh, cool. 
Yeah, I'm in the Philippines, dude. It's like hot here. Yeah, I, I got shorts on. Shorts, you know, with a nice stripe and pocket shorts and uh, woohoo! Yes, a little leg there. <laughs> That's right. Yes, <laughs> I am wearing shorts because I'm in customer service, but my customers only see the top half of my body ever. Yeah. <laughs> so I understand your point. Um, if I could wear anything, I'd wear a t-shirt. On my day off, I wear a t-shirt. But if I'm working, at least the part of me that you can see, I uh, have to dress somewhat appropriately. Uh, Nadia, do you have to dress differently for work and yes. casual time? Yes, because uh, I have to uh, wear different clothes because there is uh, an unwritten rule that a decent uh, lady cannot go to work wearing the same clothes every day. Oh, well, yes, I would agree with that. Um, well, unless you have to have a uniform, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Different situation. Uh, okay. Now, but I... I would not be dead seen wearing this type of clothes. I pasted the link to the chat box. <laughs> you you would not be caught dead? Is that what you I said? I would not be seen dead. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't be seen dead wearing this sort of clothes. Uh, okay. Well, I'll have to check it out then. All right. Give me a second while I load that up. Uh, okay. Interesting. Now... Najee, I'm so glad you're here, so I have a female perspective. <laughs> I, I have no, I, I have female sisters. By coincidence, my sisters are all females. Hmm. Uh, as is my mom, and um, of course, I've interacted with many women in my life, and I have known some women who will change their clothes two or three times a day. Wow. You, Why? Do you do that? I don't know. It's it's unfathomable to me. I, I don't. You know, understand. if we live in an extremely hot and humid climate, I think we'll have to do this because ah. uh, we otherwise we'll feel sweaty. Okay. Well, I particularly noticed that that is true here in the Philippines, where in fact it is hot and humid. So, okay, maybe that's that's it. Hello, Ayad. How are you? Uh, maybe that's maybe that's the whole thing then. All right, now Nadia, uh, what do you prefer to wear? The gentlemen have expressed their preferences in clothing. Now, women's clothing, of course. Woo! You, you have a lot more choices than men have. What uh, what do you prefer to wear? Do you prefer to wear a blazer, a dress, um, sh shorts, or slacks, or you know, when I was younger, I preferred to look, I, I preferred to uh, to wear uh, extremely comfortable clothes because I, I, I was and I am and I still am energetic, active and I always on the move and I always run. People who know me at work, they uh, always uh, imitate me, <laughs> my running through the stores, <laughs> on the staircases, something like that, that they <laughs> They do this all, that is running again. So when I was younger, <laughs> I yeah. preferred wearing um, casual and comfortable clothes. And when I'm getting older, with the age, I prefer to look elegant, sort of mm, elegant. Okay. okay. Ah, all right. That's a, that's a very good answer. All right. Well, one thing, uh, Nadia, when you say clothes, you say it very carefully, and you say the TH sound. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. In fact, I would add that clothes is actually the proper and correct way to say clothes with a TH sound, a voiced TH sound. And um, there's nothing wrong with that. Make sure you don't say closes. That's how it used to be pronounced. I'm so used to pronouncing clothes. It was easy. It's, it was easier, but now this modern clothes—it's ah, so difficult. No. Let me help you out. 
Actually, I think probably 98% of native speakers, and by that I mean Brits, Australians, Americans, say close with a Z sound, like zoo, zebra, just like close the door. Mm, it's easier. It is easier, so feel free to use it. Uh, sh clothes shopping, I... Um, uh, I like to wear warm clothes in the winter. Yes, you can say clothes, and it's completely acceptable. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, okay. Is there any kind of clothes that you really hate? Well, we talked about clothes we like. Dennis, uh, I guess I'll start with you. Are there are there any fashion trends or any particular clothes, men's or women's, that you yeah, dislike? Shirt, shirts, shirts, shorts. Well, I'm yeah, sorry yeah, yeah. if I've offended you, Dennis. <laughs> Dun <Dumb>, Dunby. <laughs> no, I, I really, I, I never wear shirts. Yeah, well, you, just you, you don't live in the Philippines. I don't know. <laughs> Anybody who doesn't wear shorts here, <laughs> seriously. Uh, really, you don't like shorts? Yeah, and uh, shirts with, with the short sleeves. And, <laughs> um... Again. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, uh, which part of Russia do you live? I, I think that you live in Russia, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I live in Moscow. Now I'm ah. near things. Uh-huh. So shorts might look a bit weird on the streets of Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not about Moscow even. And, uh, uh -huh. I don't know. Even if I, I don't like when men wear shorts because uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not I, I... pleasant to look at their legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. See, this is another Even problem. Even for me, no, no. It's a problem with my for me, no, not only for women. A, a problem with my fashion sense is also my attitude. Actually, I think fashion and attitude may have a lot to do with each other. My attitude is, I don't care if you have to. I don't care what I look like to you. <laughs> you know, I'm a very selfish person. I only care how I feel if I'm comfortable. I don't care if you don't like my ugly legs. Actually. <laughs> I think that uh, it's yeah. not it's not that uh, true ugly. For example, if you uh, go to work wearing ugly something or some, or you do some ugly things, uh, unpleasant things, and people just uh, and you smile to them and say hello, and people say hello, and they then they quite of a sudden in due time disappear from you and you start feeling <laughs> that people tend to avoid just well, even standing to you you might feel aware you, you might right. get aware of this fact but I, I'm going to wear clean clothes yes, you, and I take a bath and all that I, I'm not going to I believe in hygiene <laughs> for example but eh, I'm not so concerned about Things like what my car looks like. I drive, I drive a piece of junk as a car. You know, is cars kind of fashion too? Is your car fashionable? Mine looks like a box. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. Probably. It's quite likely. Uh, Alexis. Yeah. Uh, are, th are there any kinds of clothes, men's or women's, that you really don't like? That I don't like. No, I, I am very respectful with the um, clothes that everyone wants to wear. I don't have problems, but okay. here um, I live in Colombia. I live in Medellin, and that city is like kind of fashion city for the ah. for this country really okay. yeah and the girls here here is not is not cold and it's not war it's like template temperate uh, yes temperate with an R temperate 
That's it. You got it. Yes. Okay. So uh, here, here people uh, were like, like very comfortable, but the girls they were very um, um, sexy or I don't know, very hot. So sometimes I have problems temperate climate. Ah, temperate climate. Okay. So sometimes I have problems with that because they are they are exposed exposing um, their bodies. Ah. So, yeah, it's very it's very uh, complicated because because here there there are a lot of um, sexy girls everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, a, that's a terrible so, problem to have, Alexis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe uh, something uh, that that is that uh, that is uh, like it's not a problem, but with the time because I have lived all my life here, uh -huh. is like a little bit uh, uncomfortable. Okay. Because yeah. I, I, no, you you raise an interesting point. Um, yeah. If we consider through the years, hemlines. Uh, hemlines. Do you know what hemlines are? I'm not sure about this. Could you type no, it for I'm, us in the chat box? I, yes, I could. Of course. I think, is it one word or two words? I think it's one word. Hemlines uh, seem to go up and down. Uh, hemlines are the bottom, uh, where the woman, at the bottom of your clothes, or even well, even like my shirt here, this part here at the bottom, where it's folded up and re-sewn, I, I don't, I don't know if you can see. You can't really because if it's you black. stand, if you freeze for a second, we'll be able to see better. Cause when you are moving, it's a bit blurry. I can't, I can't freeze. I can't stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, at the bottom of your clothes, any at the bottom of your pants, a shirt, whatever. They fold the clothes up and then they re-sew it. So there's a, a hemline. When we talk about hemlines though, hem is to sew. You hem your socks or you hem something, you're sewing it. Usually a tear or something. Hemlines usually refers to, for example, a woman's skirt. Okay, so if I if I say hemlines through the years have raised and lowered as fashion trends have changed, for example, in the late sixties, they had mini skirts, right? If I don't, you guys know what mini skirts are. Um, very 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 short skirts. Uh, anyway, hemlines will rise and fall as time goes by, I guess. It's, it seems to go back and forth. Um, what do you think about that? And do you think that fashion trends, do you think they come and go? Do you think, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, Nadja? Yes, yes. Uh, for example, now the fashion of the 60s uh, has started to reappear again, yes. Really? It has? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like 60s fashion. <laughs> Is this, it? Uh, this skirts, you know, this uh, uh, short sleeved uh, dresses with the special skirts, um, they, they are like, they are uh, not uh, so big as ballerina's skirts. They are longer than ballerina skirts, but they, uh, okay. you c they are bigger. Than ordinary uh, regular skirts. Do you mean? Do can you see what I you mean? You mean they they poof out like? Yes, yes, yes. Which poof. word did you use? I said poof out. <laughs> can that's you type a, it, please? That's very American of me. Um, it's something. It's like what you're talking about. Like a ballerina's skirt is poofy. Yeah. It's light and airy, and it sticks mm -hmm. out widely. It kind of poofs da, out. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. To poof. Uh, I don't know if you find that in the dictionary, but any case. 
Yeah, all right. Really? Okay. okay. That's mm -hmm. becoming fashionable. Is there a fashion that you would hate to see return? Or a fashion that you would love to see return? Nadja. Yes. I like the fashion of uh, the king of the times where King Louis the Fourteenth lived, this uh, 16th, 17th century clothes. I like them very much. They look quite restrictive. I, it looks to me like the women are all going to suffocate. A bit, a bit. <laughs> yeah, with the corset, is that what that thing's called? Around their middle? Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, that, that looks highly uncomfortable. Possibly even painful to me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I will can remove you, them. <laughs> but, you know, can you imagine, I, I'm thinking from a man's point of view, but I'm thinking if I invite a woman out to the movies, and she has to put on like Louis the Fourteenth fashions. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We are, we are never going to get to the movies on time. Never. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know how they ever got anywhere. But all right, <laughs> interesting. Me, I have to say, I would hate. Do you know tube tops? Mm -mm. Tube tops, those stupid things. It's like a headband, all right, that a tennis player wears. Except mm -hmm. a woman wears it around her breasts. So there's no sleeves. It's a tube. Ah, and the woman I see. Just, and her stomach is sticking out, and her shoulders and arms are sticking out. It just wraps around her back and and chest. I, ah, I, I, it's I, the clothes of the twenties, like in Great yeah. Great in Great like in Great Gatsby. Oh, I don't know in Great Gatsby. Did they have them then? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Yes, Alexis. Yes. Um. What What is the What is the name of the um, the What What do you What What did you I was say? Talking about. Okay. Uh, yeah. Here. Let me type it. Tube tops. They're called tube tops. Tube tops. Oh, okay. That's That's what the what the girls wear here. Really? Also. It depends on the woman, obviously. Yeah, I guess so. But, frankly, in my opinion, some women make irresponsible fashion choices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because maybe they can, they, they, they don't have, like, the body for wearing uh, two, two tops. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes definitely not. And the other thing is the uh, the um, what do you, what are those called? Lycra pants, the ones that mm -hmm. are very tight. You know, women who might consider liposuction should not be wearing those pants. If you know what I mean. Uh, leggings, leggings, leggings. No leggings. I I don't. I kind of like leggings. I don't know why. <laughs> no, the ones that are really tight, like you know, like bicycle pants, like the pants that bikers wear. They're insanely tight. Yeah, yeah. Those I think don't... they are they are nice for girls. They, well, on the right girls. I mean, because I I I had I had a girlfriend from 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 England, and mm -hmm. she. She has a real um, fit body, fit um, yeah. Okay. And and I I I remember once I told her like, hey, why do you wear always like um, loose loose clothes? Like very yeah. Can I say loose? Loose. Yes, that's exactly yes. right. Loose clothing. Okay. That's that's how you describe loose, it. That's perfect. Loose clothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because and and I told her why why are you wearing all the time loose clothing if you have so great body? And she she was living here, and she said like um, because I don't want to to be a uh, grilla. Grilla is an expression. It's an expression that means like uh, I don't know, an slot or 
Yo, hey. Okay. All right. Yeah. A bad girl. Okay. And I think it's true. If a girl wants to want to be, um, I don't know, um, respected, okay. uh, maybe she um, she will wear like um, cereals or clothes. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's a little yeah. bit um, conserva yeah. conservative uh, point of view. I will say though that um, men as well. I, we're picking on the women uh, too much. One of the actually the most hideous thing I've ever seen probably is a big fat old man wearing speedos. Do you know speedos? I have to look up. Oh. How how, how can I spell it? Yeah, uh, hang on. Speedos. It's a kind of a swimsuit that is very tight and very yeah, small. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can, uh, yeah, imagine. Sometimes, I mean, I. Ugh, hideous. It's not only women who make bad fashion choice choices. Would you wear speedos, Dennis? Uh, no. No. No, ugly. That is a no. <laughs> okay, good, Dennis. Glad to hear that. Uh, okay, when you go, for example, all right, there's, we talked about sort of work clothing. How about play clothing? When you uh, go swimming, Dennis, what do you wear? Do you wear like uh, Hawaiian style long trunks? What do you swim in? No, just like uh, not very long, like uh, boxes. I don't know how how it's called for swim. It's not okay. not very long and not very short. Okay, um, just some average. All right, swim trunks. <laughs> all right, good. Yeah. Uh, what do you what do you think about? Um, there's a big difference in fashion. What about women's swimwear? Do you ever... I like. I like I do you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Uh, have you ever heard of um, uh, what's it called? The sports magazine, American Sports Magazine. Sports Illustrated. Do you know Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue? Have you ever heard of that? Oh uh, no! Oh well. <laughs> what is it? Now you now you have. <laughs> you can Google it. It's usually Sports Illustrated is a regular magazine. I think it's every two weeks, and it's usually all about them. Um, guy sports, football, basketball, hockey, etc. But once a year, they have the swimsuit issue where they have the world's most famous, popular, sexy models go to exotic lo locations and they do a fashion shoot. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> Have you heard of it, I, Nadia? I, I saw on YouTube a very funny video where this uh, Sports Illustrated guys was were pretending they were singing this very pe uh, popular song, Call Me Maybe, and they were fashion <laughs> models on different streets of New York, half naked, I mean, oh. uh, their torso <laughs> was naked, singing this Call Me Maybe. <laughs> it's oh, so funny. Boy. Uh, goofy. Uh, yeah. Um, by the way, I took a look at the uh, the outfit that you said you wouldn't be caught dead in. Actually, what amazes me is the hair. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Nadia, have you ever tried a, a strange or unusual hairstyle? Uh, mm, no. Mm -mm. I can't think of this. I cannot think of any occasion. Really? For some for some celebrations, maybe for some uh, festivals, crazy parties, or for hmm. when I took part in some performances on stage, only uh, on this on uh -huh. the, those occasions. Okay. Was any really memorable, bizarre hairstyle you had to do for a, a part in a play for or something? Yes, for some place only. Really, like uh -huh. like what? Any... 
Help me like on, 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 on that picture. <laughs> oh, really? Like on that picture. <laughs> no, no, not so many de details, but something uh, yeah. weird. Okay. If, if it was a beach or, or some, some wizard or something like that, or some crazy child, child, naughty child, or something like that. I had to present an appropriate uh, hairstyle for this naughty child. Right, okay. Uh, I see. Okay. Pepe uh, Longstockings. Oh, Pippi Longstockings. She has great hair. I yeah. like her fashion style, too. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> enormous straight braids. I always like that, actually. Uh, Dennis, have you ever had a strange hairstyle? Have you ever, have you ever shaved your head bald? Or had no, a... I know it was bald, but I had the long hair. Was, I went, long hair? When I was uh, younger, yeah. Okay. Uh, very, 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 very long. Actually. Really? Okay. Was that and that was that very unusual, or did you have many friends who had long hair? Uh, all my friends uh, had the same hair. We were the musicians. We played, yeah. played music. You're, you're a Especially musician. Music. It's expected. Okay. Yeah. Can yeah. I ask you guys a question? A sure. question about fashion to to men. How Please. often do you go? Do you go? <laughs> how often do you have your hair cut, Dennis and Oakley and uh, Alex? Hmm. How, what do you mean? How? How often? How often? Once a month uh, or often? Oh. once a fortnight? How often do you have your hair cut? How do you every, go to the hairdresser? Yeah, every two weeks. Every, every two, two weeks. weeks. Dennis is very dapper. I have a feeling. Uh, what? Alex, Alex, dapper. Do you know dapper? It's a compliment. Don't worry. I don't know. Uh, well, I, I, I cut my hair myself, but that's a strange. Just, but really? really? There we at, go. Even at, at your back, how can you cut yeah. your hair at the back of your head? Uh, I know it, it requires like a lot of practice, but really, uh, I'm capable <laughs> to do it. Yes. A lot of wow. practice and a little bit of Normal. flexibility, contortionist skills. No, you, you, you need two mirrors. Two mirrors? Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Wait a minute. I can think I can see that. Yeah. Interesting. You cut your well, I, I cut my, my hair every, like, two months or sometimes every six months. Two months, six months? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me too, about that. And it depends. In this, When it's hot in the summer, I cut my hair more often. Yeah. Usually all winter long or in the cool season, I just let it grow until it starts to get warm again. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to show you my, my, my side. Okay, great. Let's see. Hang on. Yeah, good. Nice. What okay. do you think, and, Dennis? Oh, okay. thanks. Wow, you're and good. Ne Nevia. How often do you cut your hair? Mm, mm, I have long hair. I don't often cut them. Okay, but do you trim when it? When was? What? Most when women was with, the last one with long hair trim it so it's even. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Right. So, how often do you do that? Oh, uh, once in a few months, maybe. Okay. Uh, uh, nice hair, Alexis. I like it. Yeah, I would let. <laughs> oh, thanks. I thanks. would let him. He can cut my hair. Actually, <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I'm an idiot. I let anybody cut my hair, so don't feel especially, you know, like I'm giving you a. I do like your hair. You have great hair, and and I that would be great for you to cut my hair. But I'm a moron. I'll let anybody cut my hair. Really. Oh, you want to cut my hair? Go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> Sure. Uh, <laughs> Oakley, that's because you don't want to attract too many girls. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm taken, so. Yeah. If you wanted, you would uh, behave differently, I bet. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe. Guys, uh, really you, uh, I, I have to go to work. You have to go? Ah, yeah. I have to go to work. Okay. Goodbye. Have a good day at work. Thanks. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Alex. Have a nice day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's a nice guy. Okay. Uh, 
I myself generally every year shave my head at the beginning of s summer. Like it's been, I've been bald a few times. Sometimes bald, sometimes setting number one on the electric shaver, but very very short. Every year, it's cleansing <laughs> because it's hot. Again, mm -hmm. is my excuse. I have, however, had a mohawk. Do you know a mohawk? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was blue. Basically the color of the wall behind me. Awesome. Blue! How, how young were you? Or how old were you? I was um, 18 or 19. And I was living in New York City, and it was 1980. The heyday of punk rock. I was hardly the only one running around in a leather jacket. Then I guess I was fashionable, come to think of it. <laughs> I guess I cared about fashion at some point in my life. Leather jacket, a dog collar, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Now, no jewelry. Zip. Zilch. I don't even have, I don't have a watch, no rings on my fingers, nothing. I can't stand it. Do you, do you wear a lot of jewelry, Nadja? Mm-mm. All nope. the earrings, sometimes necklaces. How about you, Dennis? No, no. I don't wear a watch, too. No. Well, I'm curious. Why don't you wear a watch, Dennis? Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think jewelry is not for men. Just, I don't know. Rings okay. looks some strange. Yes, I agree with Dennis. When uh, men or maybe just uh, maybe just uh, how it's called uh, cufflinks, yeah. Cufflinks, uh, okay, on your yeah. sleeves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To so hold uh, the uh, sleeves together, together. Yeah, 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 yeah. The cuffs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Only one article of jewelry. Okay. Sometimes and very seldom. And do you use a pin or for your tie when you wear a tie? Do you use a special pin? No, for ties? no. I, I, I'm, I'm not 70 years old. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, you think? You said okay. 17 or 70? I didn't get it. 70. 70. 70. I, I heard it. It was clear to me. Uh, and funny. Do you, uh, do you think... Okay, do you guys think, what do you think of guys who wear a bow tie? You know, bow mm. tie? Yes, or, James Bond used to wear store. bow ties. Did he? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. often. Or an ascot. It's a, it's a lot of uh, responsibility. <laughs> a lot of responsibility? Really? Yeah, yeah because <laughs> James Bond wore... Oh, yes. <laughs> James Bond. If you're James Bond, I guess. Yeah, I dropped my pencil. Okay, what do you think of an ascot? Ascot, what is it? I know about ascot hats. Uh, ascot is uh, it's like a, more like a scarf, but it's sort of tucked into the shirt. But it kind of poofs out at the neck a little. Poofs. There's poofs again. Uh, who wears oh, an sorry. ascot? Dennis was going to say something. Were you, Dennis? Mm -hmm, yes. Yeah, it's, it's good if if you if you wear a dinner jacket, for example. Dinner jacket, yeah, yeah. with a dinner jacket, of course. Uh, okay, I'm trying to think of who's somebody famous who wears an ascot, and but I can't. It's not. I'm, I'm not not coming up with anything. Do you guys know what a bolo? tie is? Polo tie? Yeah, do you know that? Mm, I'm not sure about uh, yeah. this. Yeah, Spanish, Spanish tie is uh, very uh, long and thin. Yeah. Very long and thin. In fact, it can actually be strings with a little sort of uh, piece of jewelry in the middle and then two yeah. strings hanging down. Spanish, yes, or American cowboys. Sometimes wear a bolo, bolo tie. Yeah, I think they look strange. Ah, uh, okay. 
Bolo Tugs, how do you feel about facial hair, Nadia? And I'm talking about with men. <laughs> I don't like mustaches and beards. Mm -mm. You do not? Mm -mm. Really? Mm -mm. Why not? Um, well, you know, because uh, it doesn't suit everybody. Sometimes uh, it's okay on some men, but not uh, on all. Okay. So it's, it's, it they don't look attractive. It, it, uh, it men usually don't look uh, attractive. Uh, some people, some men do look attractive with their mustaches and beards, but not everybody. So it's a rare occasion. Mm, okay. All right. I see. Uh, what do you think of like Elvis sideburns? The oh, hair. Oh no! 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 It's for butlers for British uh, mansions <laughs> who stand uh, beside the doors and for them only. They look uh, stylish in wearing this all right. stuff. I thought it was for How about Dennis? What, what does Dennis think about politicians. hair? Yeah, Dennis, what do you think about facial hair and on men? For men. Uh, one, one famous Russian point war in the converts. Just by the way. It's not uh, for butlers. Uh, about mustache. What do you uh, mean? By famous uh, Russian man, what do you mean? A poet. Poet, I said. Ah, uh, Pushkin. Ah, yeah, sure. Uh, Pushkin. Uh, yeah. But, it's, nice. but it's his style. It's his style. It suits him. <laughs> You're it, right. It, it, yeah, it was very good for him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I agree. Yeah. No, uh, uh, have, you, have you heard about him, Akhlein? Pushkin? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And here's where you're, now we go back to you, where you're trying to explain style. That fit his style, right? Pushkin's... You know a lot wore? of Russian words? Yeah, okay. Words? Uh, works, you mean? War, words, words and names. Well, I mean, I read Dostoevsky and I've read uh, Pushkin and then I, I read. Um, um, yeah, I mean, sometimes, honestly, Russian novels are depressing, <laughs> <laughs> but they're good, they're well written, you know, I read a lot. And what, you, and what is your favorite? Um, okay, I have a question because I always get confused. Is Franz Kafka Russian? No. No. Okay, see, Jonah. I'm always confused by that. I think he should be Russian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in some sense. Maybe. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know. Uh, who's the guy who uh, wrote Gulag? Uh, Solzhenitsyn. Alexander yeah, Solzhenitsyn. Solzhenitsyn. You know what? Solzhenitsyn moved to America, right? Yeah. He emigrated. He guess, <laughs> guess what? Well, yeah, okay. He. <laughs> All right. He, he, anyway, he went to the United States. Guess what? He lived about 10 miles away from me in the United States. You met him? Oh, really? Hmm. Interesting. Um, I can't say that I met him, although I'd really like to say that. Uh, not true. I saw him, you know, I've seen him before with my eyes, but I didn't have a chance to talk to him. I'm not the kind of person who runs up and says, oh, you're famous. Let me shake your hand. I, I just, I would never do that. Not, I don't know. It's just not me. But I have actually seen him in person in Vermont. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vermont. Yeah. Anyway, I, I enjoy his books. Arch. Uh, another word I cannot. I cannot even say in English. Uh, a group of islands. What's that name of that book? Archipelago. Archipelago. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even say that in English. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy quite a lot of Russian works of art. Um, it's not a novel. Not, not a novel, yeah. I know. It's been ages. Uh, but you know what? On that note, we only have seconds left or not even 
So, uh, guys, I just want to thank you for joining the class. Thank you for bailing me out. Uh, thank you, as always, Dennis, especially you, Nadja, for coming to my rescue. At the beginning of the class, I was sort of stranded by myself. So I really appreciate you coming to my rescue. Thanks a lot. See you guys. Thank you. It was nice being again with you, Oakley, and meeting Dennis. Nice. It was nice meeting you, Dennis. All right. Take care, guys. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Good Goodbye. Bye-bye.